how to create a dynamic search ad campaign on Google Ads. That's what I'm going to walk you through step by step in this video. Make sure you stay through to the end of the video because at the end I'm going to show you how you can exclude certain pages so you don't send traffic to bad pages on your website. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel where we record lots of awesome traffic generating videos. All right, let's go dive into my account. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this the right way. Here we are in our live Google ad account. I'm going to walk you through how to create a dynamic search campaign. That is where we don't actually bid on keywords. Google is going to decide what keywords to show our ads for based on crawling our website. And obviously we can write the ad that way. Okay. So we're going to click plus new campaign. You can choose an objective so I can choose leads, but you don't have to. You can theoretically choose without a goal guidance. I'm going to assume you've also set up conversion tracking as well. You definitely want to have set up conversion tracking. I've got videos on my channel about how to do that. So we can just leave that as is click continue and we're going to be running a search campaign. I'm going to just put in my website here teachtraffic.com and we're going to give our uh, campaign a name. We can call it oopsie, dynamic uh, and we just call it test. Obviously you call it whatever you like and then we're going to click continue. I want to start a new one. Okay so I've got a couple of uh, campaign settings here. My bidding, I can change this later once I launch this campaign. So don't feel like you're committing to something that you can't change. So I'm going to leave it as conversion focused. Click next. Here's a little sneaky setting. I want to deselect the display network and I also want to deselect search partners. This is one of Google's gotchas. I've actually got a Google gotcha guide. I can put a link in the show notes uh, to, or sorry, the description to my Google gotcha guide. There's a whole bunch of sneaky settings that Google have. So deselect them because you don't want your ads sprayed everywhere. I want to choose my location. So I'm going to put in United States, but obviously you would put in your target location and you can obviously put in multiple targets if you like. One of the other little sneaky settings here is I want the people in regularly in my target location. I don't want somebody who's shown interest in and who's not in the United States. So I want to choose that one as well. Scroll down, scroll down, and all these settings look fine. We click next. Now, I'm not actually going to set up this kind of ad group because I don't want to target keywords. Okay, so I'm going to click trash and I want to remove it. All right. It's going to force me to try and create an ad group, but I can't choose the dynamic. So I've got to actually um, skip ahead here. Uh, and so I want to set a custom budget. I'll just set it to be $10. Obviously, I can change this. Click next. And it's asking, it's just checking if my campaign is ready to publish. And obviously, it's saying there are issues because I haven't created an ad and I haven't created keywords. But that's okay because I'm going to do that in a second. So I'm going to publish campaign. I'm going to publish this even though it's telling me that it won't run. It's absolutely fine because I'm going to fix it now. So here we are in our campaign which has no ad groups. We first need to change the setting at the campaign level to be dynamic. We didn't have this option when we created this campaign so Google has changed this. I used to be able to, I don't know why. Click additional settings and here is our dynamic search ad setting. So this is where we're going to put in our website, teachtraffic.com. Click save. Fantastic. So now we have set it to be a dynamic campaign. We go to ad groups and I'm going to create a new ad group. And here is where it will actually give me the option of a dynamic ad group. Cool. So then I'm going to call this uh, all web pages. Cool. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose all web pages here. And then we click save and continue. Here is where I'm going to write my dynamic search ad. And it's going to be dynamically creating a final URL because it's deciding where to send the traffic to. And it's going to be creating a headline and display URL, but I get to write two descriptions. So I'm just going to pause this video real quick while I write these descriptions. So here we are. I've written just two descriptions. If we scroll down and click done. I can create a different alternative ad. And we just, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click save and continue. 
And there we have it. We have set up our dynamic campaign. That's how easy it is to do. As promised, one last thing you also need to do to prevent your ad for showing up for the wrong thing is add negative dynamic targets. Okay, so I'm going to go into my ad group and negative dynamic ad targets. And this is where you're going to add URLs that you don't want Google to send the traffic to. For example, your privacy policy. So you just type in the URL. I put in my, my contact, so I've got my privacy policy here, contact page, click add, and then we click save. All right, and that, and you would obviously put in a whole bunch of URLs that you don't want Google to crawl so that um, you don't send traffic to pages where it's really not appropriate. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button so we can let the algorithms know and I can keep creating more awesome content. Thanks for watching.